not here. Oh my God, my manifestation is still not here. I mean, oh shit, I ordered it and it hasn't shown up yet. I mean, like really, seriously, how long does it take for my manifestation to show up? This is Susie, your beautiful swan queen, who's extremely frustrated this morning. How long have I been painting my apartment? I have absolutely no idea. But welcome back to my garden. I'm in the master bedroom, and I'm painting, and I'm painting, and I'm painting. And I missed the knock on the door to say that my bracelets were here. Yeah, I didn't even hear it. I'm on day, I don't know, nine million of painting my hint house. And I just want it to be done. I just want the painting to be done. And it made me think about all of us trying to manifest something, especially people who are stuck on manifesting something as simple as a free cup of coffee. I need a dude. Like, I need a dude who just does, like, all my little pet projects. I have a project. Oh, baby, what do you have to do today? I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Just lay out your honey-do list. I need a dude to do my honey-do list. I need to manifest that. That's what I'm thinking about while painting this, pro this painting project. So I have over half of my apartment done. I have literally the two bathrooms, one ba my studio, and half of my master. I have the, ba the two bathrooms to finish, half of my master, and the studio to paint. The rest of the apartment's completely done. And I am struggling to finish this. And I know we struggle in our manifestations and we try to force them to be done. And we work so hard to make sure that our manifestation is done. This morning, all I can think about is doing a video that said, look, it's done. Oh my God, the painting is done. Should we get a selfie stick and walk through the apartment? I'm going through my head and I'm trying to figure out what implies my manifestation of my apartment painting is done. And when people come to me for coaching, they know what they want, they know what implies it's done, but we talk about why it's not done, why we're stuck, what we need to change, what do we need to do differently, how do we get around this, I'm stuck, I have a block, and I'm flipping out. So we talk it to death, and we do, we talk it to death. But I noticed that sometimes, because I'm a girl, I look at the problem. And then when I have guy clients, they look at the solution. So I know there's a problem, they know there's a solution, but we're not hitting on all fours. So I had a client, got back together, forgot to message me. Somebody else told me. 1007 yes I am so happy like literally I am so happy I found out last night it's what stopped my finishing the master bedroom because I was like happy dancing but you know when we get our manifestations we're so happy we're boasting to the world or we're closing the door and we're not sharing it with anybody so when we talk about our desire and our manifestation we actually wind up talking about what's stopping us from getting it more than what's actually getting us our manifestation. They're not doing this. I'm not seeing that. I asked for a sign to get proof that my manifestation is coming or it's working. I want to change my life and I want to create this and I'm making lists and I'm doing all the right things and I'm picking the wrong name to claim it. And then I'm not sending out the right message to the minions because it's not here. It's not knocking on the door. I get stuck too. And when you get stuck, we have to go back to the basics. We have to go back to what implies it's a done deal. If I am waiting for Jared to message me, I'm waiting. And he could message me absolutely anything. That doesn't imply that my manifestation is done. If I'm waiting for Jared to knock on my door, 
UPS knocked on the door and I missed it. So I might not have heard him knock today. But if I am going to the end and I'm truly, truly living from the end, he's not messaging me. He's not knocking on my door. He's helping me paint. Mm -hmm. He's helping me paint. So we're painting the penthouse together. That would imply it's done. The door's closed. Nobody's there and he's helping me imply, paint. But you know, that's not about me. That's about something he's doing for me, which is really, really awesome, sweet, nice, loving, amazing. And if I don't get a dude to help me, like with my honey-do list, I swear I'm going to go insane. But he shouldn't have to be that dude. I could hire somebody to help. I could con my kids. I could order beer and pizza and see how many of my friends show up. There's all different ways I could get this painted, but it doesn't have to rely on Jared finishing my project that I started, that I bit off more than I could chew on, that y'all are probably tired of hearing about. But this is a good lesson in manifesting. It really, truly is. Because if I'm waiting for him to help me finish painting, the painting becomes a chore. And it's not fun and my apartment doesn't look beautiful it's pissing me off but if I'm telling my daughter Jared helped me finish painting that means it's done and I got help from the person I would love help from the most if I'm telling my daughter which you know I forget my mental conversations duh yesterday's videos have them with the minions because my minion loves me my daughter loves me even more than the minions and when I tell her you know good news she's always happy for me and she's always doing something like giving me a cup of coffee chicken nuggets um, babysitting you want to babysit little one I just told you really good news and you're asking me if I want to babysit but it's a done deal because I gave her the really good news. What I tell her, what she says next doesn't really matter. It means I got it done. So when I tell you guys to create a character, you are creating a character. It's Neville's technique of the phone conversation. But it doesn't have to be the phone conversation. It can be a text message. It can be an email. It can be a physical conversation. But it implies that my manifestation is done. So if I really, 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 really want the puppy, after my apartment is completely painted, again, excuse number 9,653,012. Yeah, we have lots of excuses on the puppy. But if I really, 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 truly wanted the puppy, then um, I'm introducing her to Ophelia. Mm. I'm introducing her to the little one. And I'm watching the two of them play on the floor. And they're having a blast. So how do I get my puppy? I introduce her to little one. That's all I got to do. Not Savannah, not Katie. Somebody who's going to have an absolute positive blast with my little puppy. A four-year-old. That would imply I have it done. Because I'm introducing my puppy to the four-year-old. And my little minion now becomes my beautiful four-year-old. Who is in love with my little Chinese crimson puppy. Who looks like a little Clydesdale horse who prances like a Tennessee walker, who's got this beautiful chocolate body with this beautiful blonde hair. Absolutely amazing little dog, and she's quiet. She has to be quiet because we live in an apartment. I mean, I have the penthouse, but she still has to be quiet. See, I'm making too big of a deal out of my manifestations, partially because, you know, I need to learn how to manifest on my own, but it teaches you guys how to manifest. You don't really care whether or not I manifest a puppy, but you care if I can use manifesting a puppy to teach you how to manifest your specific person. So I'm going to go paint, 
and I'm going to imagine while I'm painting that I'm introducing little one to my puppy. Because that means my landlord said yes. That means I found the perfect puppy. That means that there are no issues, problems, and a billion and twelve reasons, point seven, why I can't have her anymore. Because I have her. We all want our manifestations. So let's stop talking about blocks and the reasons why we don't have it. And go back to the simple basics that Neville teaches. Create a scene that implies it's a done deal. What implies that your manifestation is done? Tell me in the comments. I'd love to know. This is Susie. Again, your beautiful swan queen who's really frustrated with painting. I swear I'm going to just give up. No, I'm not. I'm going to persist. You always have to persist in the assumption until it hardens into fact. You guys have an amazing day. I love you. Subscribe. Smash the like button. As always, share my videos and tell me why what I'm sharing with you is drastically changing your life for the better. Love you.